Greetings, Acolytes of the Force, back to our archives. The Mandalorian Season 3 premiere has finally arrived, entitled The Apostate. In the premiere, there was one major aspect of Star Wars lore that was expounded upon, and a reveal and an implication that will not only have drastic measures on the Ahsoka Tano series, The Mandalorian Season 3, but potentially even far beyond. With that said, into the Caves of Mandalore we go, as we begin our initial breakdown on a massive reveal from the episode of The Mandalorian, entitled The Apostate. Apostate. The sequence we are talking about is when Din Djarin and Grogu are traveling through hyperspace, following saving the Creed. Here, Grogu encounters a very rare and very powerful spacefaring creature, a spacefaring whale known as a Purgle. But how exactly does this single creature have massive implications on the lore itself, as well as echo back to a past character who will be extremely important moving forward? One of the last times we saw Purgles in Star Wars canon was in the finale of Star Wars Rebels, wherein Ezra Bridger made a connection with with the Purgle King, influencing the Purgles, who are a spacefaring race who can actually enter hyperspace, to wrap around both himself as well as Grand Admiral Thrawn's ship, sending them deep into the unknown region. The Purgles that we see here were a massive whale-like species that lived in deep space, traveling from star system to star system and having no real home that we know of. Regular Purgles were only the size of a small starship, while members of the subspecies known as Purgle Ultra were significantly larger. The Purgles typically lived in a group of up to about a dozen individuals, but what made these individuals so important to the Star Wars lore and the creation of the galaxy of itself was their ability to fly through hyperspace using a power known as the Simu Tunnels. It is currently unknown whether or not Purgles are force sensitive, however, many theories indicate that they may be, and it was actually the Purgles themselves that influenced the Wayfinders of the Galaxy to create hyperspace navigation. With that said though, the history of the Purgles is not all bright, as they have resulted in the deaths of thousands if not millions, leading to pirates and even the Republic to eradicate some of the species. The reason for this is as ships move through hyperspace with the Purgles, the Purgles would frequently knock into them and kill thousands of people at once. This was typically believed to be unintended by the Purgles, however, when you have something moving through hyperspace that's a live in being about half the size of a Star Destroyer, there are bound to be some collisions. And with that said, by the era of the Empire, the Purgles were exceedingly rare throughout the stars. But what exactly are the implications of the Purgles on the greater Star Wars story? As stated in the finale of Star Wars Rebels, Ezra Bridger using beast control and a connection with the Purgle King was able to cause many Purgle Ultras to wrap around Thrawn's flagship, thus breaking the barrier above the planet of Lothal. Deeming Thrawn too much of a threat though, and believing that Thrawn would eventually hunt down the rest of Ezra's friends and the Ghost crew, Ezra decided to make a sacrifice, reaching out to the Purgle Ultras and asking them to send Thrawn and himself into deep space, the very home of the Purgles themselves. So, why exactly is this so important? Well, we have confirmation that both Ezra Bridger as well as Thrawn will be some of the main players in the Ahsoka Tano show, as well as Thrawn likely moving forward as the overarching villain of the Star Wars universe, at least in this era of time. Thrawn Thrawn is of course a Chiss, whose homeworld actually lay within the Unknown Regions. In the Star Wars Thrawn novels, it is revealed that Thrawn has no great love for the Empire nor Sidious, and he actually holds somewhat contempt for them. However, he views them as a necessary evil. The reason for this being is Thrawn is aware of some greater threat looming in the unknown regions of space, a threat that his people will suffer greatly from due to them being located around the unknown regions. And it is because of this that Thrawn uses the Empire as a tool to prepare for an incoming threat. Now, in Legends continuity, that incoming threat was the Yuzhong Vong, which was the massive overarching threat following the second return of Darth Sidious, the Vong being a species that resided outside of of the regions of known space, and that some have even speculated in the lore came from a different universe and galaxy entirely. But before we delve deeper into that, let's take a look at the timeline of Ezra's departure and why the Purgles returning are such a big deal. We know thanks to the second season of The Mandalorian that Ahsoka Tano is hunting down Ezra and Thrawn directly, and that there are whispers that Thrawn has returned to known space. In the last season of The Mandalorian, Ahsoka was able to track down Magistate Morgan Elsbeth, who she believed was working directly 
directly with Grand Admiral Thrawn, preparing the known universe for his return. We also know that Ezra and Thrawn made the jump into unknown space in the year 1 BBY, and with the first season of The Mandalorian beginning in 9 ABY, and with Jon Favreau recently confirming that Din Djarin and Grogu have been together for several years, more than two. That indicates that at the very minimum, Ezra and Thrawn have been lost in the unknown regions of space for 12 years. To go along with this though, one of the major recent reports from the Ahsoka show is that it would be setting up different parts of the Star Wars galaxy that we've never ventured to before. The Mandalorian, Rebels, and even much of the sequel trilogy take place in the Outer Rim. But what the Ahsoka show will jump to is what goes beyond the Outer Rim what is actually within the unknown regions itself. The Mandalorian is obviously a famous show for setting up future Star Wars projects, such as the Ahsoka show, the Book of Boba Fett, and so much more. And this is just a small glimpse at what's to come with the return of Ezra, thus indicating the Purgles returning to known space means that Ezra is coming as well, and likely Thrawn. Many fans have speculated that Ezra has not contacted his friends because he simply cannot, and that perhaps even Thrawn and Ezra have been working together to fight off some unknown threat that lie in the unknown regions. As we stated earlier, this is of course the Yuzhong Vong, who many people even speculated that Darth Sidious was aware of. But we know that in Legends without a doubt, Thrawn was. Not to mention that there was dialogue earlier in several trailers for the third season of The Mandalorian that there was something in space that was growing in power. Whether or not that is Thrawn or a greater threat is unknown. But I do believe the Star Wars mythos is setting up something even bigger with the return of Ezra and Thrawn than simply Thrawn being the main antagonist. But now, now, let's talk about why the return of Ezra will be so significant. Ezra was a character that sometimes danced along the ways of the dark side of the Force, although he never fully succumbed to it thanks to the help of his master Kanan Jarrus. With that said, at the time of his departure, Ezra was growing into a proud Jedi and a very competent and powerful one. In fact, Ezra, thanks to the Inquisitors and having fought against them multiple times, was quite the refined fighter and duelist. And since we know Sabine, as well as Ahsoka, have vowed on their lives to find Ezra, and bring him home. It's clear that he will be a major character moving forward, and this is simply a little breadcrumb along the way. But anyway, my friends, what are your thoughts on this? What are your thoughts on this big reveal, an easter egg revolving Ezra Bridger and Thrawn? Do you believe that there is something else growing in the unknown regions that we will learn about in a massive Star Wars series that is yet to even be announced? And could this be the very beginnings of the culmination of something very special? Stay tuned later on the channel as we'll be breaking down far more aspects of the premiere of The Mandalorian Mandalorian Season 3, including talking about the terrifying origins of the IG units, the glassing of the cursed world of Mandalore, and much, much more. So as always, my friends, thank you so much for watching, may the force be with you, and have a great day.